In order to choose the device that best suits your application, it's important to know the differences between them. This video will cover the most common pressure measurement devices, including pressure gauges, modules, transducers, transmitters, and switches. Pressure gauges are the most common and straightforward pressure measurement devices. They usually consist of one inlet for a pressure connection and a display to provide a readout. Dial pressure gauges, sometimes called analog gauges, display the pressure of the measured fluid using the movement of a needle over a circular dial. Since they can be built with no electronics or battery, dial gauges are often budget-friendly and easy to replace. However, due to the mechanical nature of their design, these analog gauges typically have higher drift rates and hysteresis compared to other solutions. They can also be subject to parallax error, which occurs when the user takes a reading without positioning themselves to read the gauge straight on. Since the accuracy of a dial gauge can only be as high as the number of graduations between the values, a digital pressure gauge is used when more accurate readings are required. Digital gauges function the same as dial gauges, but often have extra functions enabled by their electronics, such as the ability to zero the gauge, change units, find the minimum and maximum pressure values, record pressure over time, and even communicate with other devices. Barometric pressure gauges are designed to have the pressure inlet open to atmospheric pressure. These gauges can be dial or digital. Finally, differential pressure gauges have two inlets, one for measured pressure and another for reference pressure. Differential pressure devices are often used to measure very low pressures. To facilitate this, the reference pressure port allows for more volume within the pressurized system, which stabilizes the low pressure readings. Pressure modules convert a pressure signal into an electrical signal to be read by an external device or software. These signals are often proprietary to the manufacturer of the module and require a specific cable to read the signal. High accuracy pressure modules are often used as pressure references in calibration since their electronic output can be easily read and recorded by lab software or field calibrators. Similar to modules, pressure transducers convert a pressure reading into an electrical signal but unlike modules, the output can be measured and recorded by most types of electrical readouts. This electrical signal will typically be in millivolts per volt and will require a physical connection. Pressure transmitters are almost identical to transducers, but they also amplify and send their signals to a receiver, most commonly in the form of volts or a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. In general, transmitters are preferred when sending a signal over longer distances, due to being the least affected by electrical noise and resistance found in signal wires. Oftentimes, transmitters feature heart communication, allowing their signals to be read and customized remotely using heart-capable devices or a bus network. The last device, a pressure switch, operates an electrical contact to interrupt or divert the current when a certain threshold of pressure has been reached. These are used in any application where an automatic response is needed, like when pressure reaches a certain high or low threshold within a system. We hope you enjoyed this overview of some of the most popular types of pressure measurement devices. In the next video, we'll go over some of the different types of equipment that can calibrate these devices. 